So does the future of South African golf look bright? I mean, what, what, uh, who should we be looking out for? Um, obviously, yeah, I think um, in a few years' time, the, everyone is going to just appear there, I think, because um, the competition these days are, is extremely tough for players like, like me. It's extremely tough to compete against all the players and try to win. So I think in a few years' time, it's going to be a very good, very good. Mm. So now at your age, um, how do you manage to balance golf, all the training you obviously need to do, and then your, your academics, your schoolwork, and sort of your other commitments? Um, so obviously I'm away from school. Uh, this last term I was away from school for five weeks, so it was extremely tough to catch up all the work and everything. So I get my, my friend's book and try to copy all, all the notes down. So yeah, it's quite hard to obviously balance the two with, with each other, so, uh, but I, I try and make it happen, yeah. Okay, now this tournament um, that you recently won, the Rodney Hess tournament, he was a, Rodney Hess was a, was a champion of, of development golf, I believe. Um, what is the state of development golf in South Africa? I mean, what is uh, being done to expose the game to, to players from disadvantaged communities? I mean, how long do you think it's gonna be until we see a, a black South African golfer in the top 50? I mean, people have been asking that for a long time. Um, well, they've got a new manager now, Peter Little, and he's helped um, SAGDB, the South African Golf Development Board. Um, he's helped them a lot with giving them clothes and everything they need to become a pro. So I think in a few years' time, the, the future of junior black golfers is going to be extremely good because they've got the right opportunity at the moment to become a pro. And I mean, in the, in the series that you participate in and the tournaments that you participated in, I mean, have you come up against some really promising black talent I have, in your yes. age group? Yes, I have, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, are there any, any names that we, we should be sort of looking out for in the near future? Um, Franklin Manchester is one of the SAGDB players, Hayden Garcia as well. So there's a few, few good SAGDB players coming through right now. Okay. And now uh, your final question, your ultimate sort of, uh, goal aspirations I mean after school have you thought that far do you want to go and play college golf in the States and I mean how are you who's managing your career and I mean how, where would you like to see yourself in five years time um, I haven't really thought about that to be honest with you but uh, I would actually like to go overseas and travel overseas and travel the world and everything <coughs> um, old man gives me a bit of a trouble sometimes so uh, yeah I'd like to get away from it now I'm joking <laughs> um, but yeah um, I think I would like to go overseas and see what's, what's new and everything. So I think that would be a new start for me as well to my career. Okay, great. Luca, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.